A very good morning and I bring warm greetings in the powerful name of Jesus. Today is mnemonic number nine in internal medicine and in neurology. We're breaking down the second of our three phacomatoses, which we said were neurocutaneous epileptic symptoms, tuberous sclerosis. You know what really, really, really gets on my nerves? My Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I always thought that nervous systems are just too reckless. Why? Because they do everything on impulse. <laughs> So today our mnemonic for tuberous sclerosis is ash leaf. Um, so the A stands for ash leaf spots, which is one of the cutaneous manifestations. S is for shagreen patch, which has this very leathery kind of uh, appearance. H is for heart rhabdomyomas. L stands for lymphangioleomyomatosis, right? Which is essentially a problem with the lungs, has a predilection for young females. All right, and up to 30% of patients with tuberous sclerosis get LAM. Yeah. <laughs> e stands for uh, epilepsy, and that because of the cortical tubers. So these cortical tubers function like a space occupying lesion of source, which then causes the epilepsy. A stands for angiomyolipomas, which mainly happen in the kidneys, often bilaterally. And F is for facial angiofibromas. So these list the clinical criteria for the diagnosis of tuberous sclerosis. So once more, quick fire, Ashley spots, shaggy and patch, heart rhabdomyomas, nephangioleomyomatosis, epilepsy, angiomyolipomasa, which are renal, and facial angiofibromas. God bless you and have yourself a fantastic day. I'll see you tomorrow and we'll be speaking about our third phacomatosis. God bless. <laughs>